working on my dahlias again. Here's the setup here. These are the tubers that I threw in to these trays a few weeks ago, probably four weeks ago. First thing you gotta do, get your trays set up with some soil. So I'm just using the miracle Grow soil that you get down to the Home Depot. Nothing special, nothing fancy. I filled up my cells here and I have kind of tamped it down a little bit like this. So then you gotta make some holes in there. I'm just using the screwdriver to drive some holes down in there like this. So you gotta uh, get your dirt right, if you know what I mean. Once your dahlias are to this point, see I've labeled this one, this one's Pulvent and Supreme. Once your dahlias are this to this point, you can take your cuttings. So this guy right here, that's a big old fatty. The stem is super thick and the stem is gonna be hollow. Hollow stems aren't necessarily good for this uh, scenario. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit of the tuber on this guy rather than cut into the stem. So I'm gonna just try it like this. See if I can get a little bit of the tuber here like that. Well, I'm gonna try to root this in this manner. Had I cut this right here, so you can normally cut this like right below the node. You cut it right here, right below the node, and then you would tear these uh, leaves off right here, like this. I'm just gonna tear those off anyways because they don't have any foliage on them and they're kind of burned if you can see this. I'm not sure how that happened, but they got burned. But if you were to cut it right here, the stem would be hollow right there. And a lot of people will say that this, the hollow stems are no good and they do not, uh, they, knew, they won't root. And that, while is not totally true, it is almost not worth it to go with a hollow stem. You can tell how big and thick that is, that it, it is for sure gonna be hollow. But I've got a little bit of the tuber. I took the full eye off of this guy, and so I'm gonna root it in here and see what we can do with this guy. So here are my cuttings here that I, I'm gonna prepare. So you wanna cut these off there, cut the, leaves off and then you want to cut it right at the node or right below the node like that. That one almost looks hollow so that one may or may not take. This one, I'm going to cut these guys off here. And If you can see right here, this right here is called the node and then when you cut something above the node this is where the new growth starts to sprout up and come from, right there. If you can see that little piece right there, there would be one that would grow up right there, a stalk, and a stalk here. So if I put this in the ground and I try to root this in my potting soil here, the roots will technically grow right from there. I'm hoping that they grow from here and there. It's hard to say, but that's, that's what we're hoping for. You need to use some sort of rooting hormone powder. You don't have to use this stuff, but it definitely does help. So you just stick it in the powder like this, get a little bit of the rooting hormone or the rooting powder on there, and you want to do this for all of these guys. Once you've got your labels ready to go and you got your cuttings ready to go, you just kind of put them down in there and firm them up in the soil just a little bit like that. Put this guy in here. Then put your labels in there so you always know what you've got. And I don't know what kind of success rate I'm going to get. I'm hoping to get, you know, 90% success rate, if not better. It could be that, could be worse. I, don't, I really don't know. Once you got that, you just rinse and repeat and keep going on that. So got two trays of the cuttings, one here and one here. That would be 48 times two, so 96 cuttings, which is a lot. So next thing I got to do is just put some water on here like this. So now that I've got these watered, I got these little uh, propagation domes here. Bought these on Amazon. Got four vents on here. I'm just gonna put these on the top here so we can keep the cuttings warm and keep them humid as they take root. And it's gonna take about three to four weeks to fully root and then we will pot them up. So here are the cuttings that I took last week. You can see all these cells were full except for these two did not have a cutting in it. But it's looking decent. Looks like I had failure there. Looks like I got a weed seed there. That's weird. 
So the propagation dome makes it, uh, it's like a little greenhouse in there. A little microclimate in there. Underneath here, I've got the propagation mat. I've got one here and one down there. These are uh, seedling mats um, set on a thermostat. So they, I've got a little um, thermostat on there with a little sensor and it will heat the seedlings up or heat up the soil until it's 75 degrees and then it shuts on and off when it gets over 75 degrees. So that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys like these videos. I know that they don't appeal to everybody, but this is something I am actually really passionate about. Love the flowers when they actually bloom. It's just so fantastic. So this is hundreds of dollars worth of dahlia tubers alone, not counting the rack, the light system, or the mats. But I like to try to save these from year to year so I can propagate them and so I don't have to keep buying the tubers because they really add up and they can be expensive. For one tuber, you're looking at you know anywhere from two to five dollars, upwards of twenty dollars per tuber. So I'm looking forward to these things growing. And so that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.